What is up guys and welcome back to Napoleon Battle Replay. This is going to be a pretty interesting battle because I'm going to go into detail of why this battle is happening and uh, how many units are on the battlefield just to give uh, the battle uh, more, more interest and uh, it will be much more to look at. I got this idea from Apollo, his last video was kind of like this, he explained the history of everything and it made it, the battle so much more interesting. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is a huge battle, the Prussians versus the Great Br Great Britons and uh, this is, uh, I'm going to tell you guys what's the story here and why they are fighting. So um, this is the battle of uh, the right. Uh, and this is why, because the British have actually sent, uh, for the last couple of years, their spies um, in Prussia to get more information about them. And uh, the Prussians actually realized that uh, what they were doing, and they did not like it at all. So they uh, asked the uh, British to stop, um, nice and politely, but the British did not want to answer, and they continued sending in their spies. And uh, so then the Prussians declared war against the British and now moved up all, a huge force of uh, men uh, to, to, go, to go and uh, kill some of their infantry to teach them a lesson and uh, tell them and show them who, is who has a stronger force. But will, they, will, they have, will their force be strong enough? To even fight off the English because they actually have no they actually had no idea what they were facing. They were just gonna, they're just sending in a huge army. Uh, no idea what they're facing. But they're gonna actually face a huge amount of units from the English, as you guys can see. And I, I'm gonna tell you guys how many units are on the battlefield. And uh, I actually named the generals from a, uh, from that time, the uh, Prussian generals and English generals, so this is going to be pretty cool. So uh, let's head on to my army first. This is a 3v3 battle by the way. <laughs> uh, so um, heading on to my army. So um, so the first army here is commanded by me, So and the general is called Karl von Clausewitz, and uh, he has on his side 240 skirmishers. 180 Lion Infantry, 90 Cavalry uh, yeah, Soldiers, and then he has 4 Artillery in his army. Heading on to the next army, it's commanded by the player, Trauma, and uh, his general is Ger Gerhard from Scharnhorst. And he has also 240 Skirmishers, 100, 1440 Lion Infantry, and 90 cav and 4 artillery units. Heading on to the last uh, army here. It's a strong ally. It's a strong force from Prussians. They, he has two. Uh, it's the uh, general Marshal from Maxen, uh, and he has 240 skirm uh, 240 skirmishers, 1,080 line infantry, and he has 180 grenadiers. And he has uh, 90 cav units, and he has four artillery uh, in his army. So that's the Prussian side. They're gonna fight off the uh, English with that many forces, and in total, that will be 720 skirmishers, 3,600 line infantry, 180 grenadiers, 270 grenad uh, cavalry soldiers, and we have 12 artillery pieces in the Prussian army in total. Heading on to the English, we have the general um, and the player Mick Helston. The general will be called Arthur Wells Wellesley. He's the first Duke of Wellington. Uh, where is he? Here he is. There's the first Duke of Wellington. His name is Arthur Wellesley. And, in, and uh, he has about 300 skirmishers in his army, 960 line infantry, 90 cav units and 4 artillery pieces. Heading on to the next army, uh, we have the player Dan Swede and uh, with the general Sir Thomas Peer Pearson. Um, the general is, uh, I think he was, uh, <laughs> he disappeared somewhere. 
He was over here. There he is. His army has about um, 120, uh, 240 skirmishers, 1,080 line infantry, 45 cavalry units, and four artillery pieces. Heading on to the last army, it's commanded by the player, the Balkan Slav. And uh, he, the general on this side is called Arthur Wellesley. He's a, he is also a general of Duke of Wellington. He has 120 skirmishers, uh, 1,320 line infantry, 45 calved soldiers, and 4 artillery pieces. That's the side of the Great Britain. In total, they will have 660 skirmishers, 3,360 line infantry, 180 cav units, and 12 artillery pieces. That's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy that little intro uh, of the uh, of the units, and now you know what the battle is about. Will the Prussians be strong enough to hold off the uh, the English over here, or should I say, would the English be strong enough to hold off the uh, Br uh, the Prussians because they are they do have a little a bit a little a little bit bigger force than they have. This is going to be pretty interesting. I hope you guys will enjoy this battle, and let's start. So, Prussia is moving in, so I need to do a lot of slow motion, but uh, first of all, here, we get a nice cav charge into these line, in, into the skirmishers here. Uh, that's a pretty good charge there from the British. Uh, they're they're going to lose their morale pretty quickly and die like flies, but uh, will they get re some reinforcements? Yes, he's sending another skirmisher unit, but uh, we have a li some line infantry firing down at the cav. But it looks like he's firing into his own men as well. Not a good idea. He's oh, he's sending in his cav, so uh, the poor uh, skirmishers. I think they've already got, they're, they completely shattered them. We have some artillery fire coming in uh, from the British over there. They are slowly gonna move their units. And let's see on this side, uh, where I'm moving up. The Prussians are moving slowly up the uh, infantry, with the light infantry at the, at the front of course. And we have some artillery fire happen, uh, going on here. I think uh, I'm aiming at the, the enemy's artillery. Uh, but their artillery is ridiculously strong. They got uh, tons of kills. Um, but here they, here they come, look at that. Ridiculous. But I am moving up slowly. It's kind of hard to get all of my, uh, all of this battle in one. But it seems like this, this side, that uh, they are not going to engage the enemy. They are actually going to team up over here. I don't know if I uh, mentioned his name of this player. It was Potato Magic 662. I don't remember if I uh, mentioned it or not. If I haven't, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, he's gonna hold back like this. Pretty defensive, but I think he needs to move up more if he wants to team up with his ally. But uh, they are coming in slowly. And uh, let's looks like we have some. Uh, yeah, we have some square formation. That was a, a waste of cavalry units there. They're gonna instantly just uh, shatter there. Not not very wise, but we have some uh, infantry firing at the square formation. But it looks like the uh, terraform is in the way. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, they're firing from this upper hill. They have a nice position, but I don't know if they're getting them or not. And uh, we have some light infantry going, coming on on my side over here. Let's see uh, if they do any damage. Because he's, he can just totally get me from the side. And looks like my skirmishers will be firing down at their army. We have some skirmishers on this side over here. And some line infantry defending this uh, little river side. Which is the only way I can get across. And we have some artillery going for my cav. Uh, looks like he just killed one unit, uh, one one soldier there. I'm I'm moving my, up my infantry, and uh, I'm getting some of my elite infantry on the side here. 
And looks like uh, the uh, Prussians here just charge in their cav into the light infantry. Pro a very gutsy move, but uh, he tried his best. And uh, they just need to move up before they get harassed by the artillery. Looks like the English cav ch charged in here. So they're going wild with their cav, going very aggressive. And it looks like the uh, the light infantry or skirmishers are firing down at the cav. Will the cav be strong enough to fight off this light infantry, the musketeers? And they're moving up uh, some of their in the same formation. So we have a little skirmisher fight happening here. And they're uh, try trying to kind of outflank them here. So. Uh, it's going to be hard for this Prussian army to hold them back. Um, it's just, it, because here comes another cav unit. Let's see what they're doing. I, get, I think they're falling back. And look at this huge force over here. They are all ready for battle. My, they, I think the men here are slowly marching. No, they're actually standing still. Some artillery. Oh yes, look at that. I, I don't think they got anyone, or maybe one or two units. Oh, here comes some more fire. Look at that. That's pretty insane. But uh, my my elite infantry here are doing a pretty good job of finding them, uh, or not finding them, firing off. They are, I think they're losing more men than I am, because these are just some footmen, and I have elite foot guards, which are really pretty strong. Look at them fly, uh, they just die, dropping like flies. And I'm kind of winning this little uh, uh, battle here because I have a lot of... Uh, he only has two skirmisher units, I have four. But uh, his skirmisher units actually got my units over here, That I didn't realize that. Uh, this is how many men I just lost. But uh, this is uh, pretty intense right now. And my artillery was actually is aiming down at his artillery because they are pretty strong. And I, I managed to already get one, but uh, they are wrecking up my artillery right now, which isn't good. And now because he's uh, he, over here, he's uh, concentrating two of his uh, uh, units, I, my ally here could easily outflank him. And uh, yeah, that's not good for the British over here on this side. Let's see what's happening over here. I, I think the British are moving up their units, so I think uh, the English... Uh, line infantry is also firing, but I don't think that the Prussians are firing. Oh yes, they are actually, so that's good. That's pretty intense. Oh my goodness. But uh, we, this is a pretty good uh, position for the English here. This uh, little kind of outflanking them. Look at all those bullets fly by. This is this is why the Prussians are moving up some infantry because they're, they're kind of outflanking them. But now he's a uh, he's got a good position there. Look at this. They should be firing now at any moment. Oh, I don't know why they're not firing. There they go. They're gonna charge in. A very risky move. Oh, he's gonna do a counter charge. So this is interesting. I don't know which unit is stronger. It might be the high, Highland Foot uh, Infantry. He's gonna charge into the Light Infantry as well with his Grenadiers. He could have just thrown some grenades, but... Uh, very uh, gutsy moves. And we have a look. Oh, look at this little forest engagement. This, these skirmishers look so safe right now because they're like hiding in the bushes and so on. So much is happening right now. It's hard to get it all at the same time. And uh, let's see on, over on this side. They are, they are not moving that much. I think this is just the little skirmish engagement we saw before. They are losing their men. Only 20 skirmishers left. Uh, pretty insane. And let's see on my side how it looks over there. And yeah, this is the map. This is what it looks like right now. But I don't like having it on. It kind of disturbs me. I am moving up more of my infantry. But uh, the English looks like they have a longer range than I have. So my line infantry couldn't fire. Unfortunately, I moved up my line infantry from on that side to my side over here. There were... They were safer and protected from that artillery because of the buildings. And they are there. Look at that. They're losing their morale. And um, 
I'm moving up my elite infantry now, who, get, who, who will be firing down at the skirmishers over here. And let's see, like the skirm let's see, we have some skirmishers here who are firing down at the, this unit. They are not in range. He needs to make the, he needs to put them in range. This is gonna be this is pretty tough right now. Will the Prussians uh, teach them a lesson about uh, not putting any spies in their country? Looks like it doesn't look well on this side though. And uh, yeah, I'm positioning my units over here. I think they're in range. I think they are, yeah? Yes, they are. They're firing down. Very good. So, this unit is totally outflanked. I'm going to spread them all out. Because they are quite blobbed up. My general's at the very back. But my, unfortunately, my artillery unit actually routed. Which is uh, not that good. Same here, we have some infantry routing. Oh, we have an English uh, unit here charging in. This is a huge battle. Good, very risky though to charge in your units like that because they just get easily fired at. But the, the Prussians are losing their morale. The English are doing very well of fighting them off. Uh, the English are moving up, not the English, the Prussians are moving up some of the Grenadiers to help out probably on that side because he is losing uh, desperately here. He needs to uh, maybe team up with his ally. On this side, let's see how well he's doing over here. It looks like he's doing a good job. You probably dealt with this uh, side here. Look at, look at all the dead uh, bodies. Alright, so he's moving back his uh, infantry. We probably moved them back. His skirmishers are already firing. So this is good. They don't, have, they don't have any skirmishers left. So this is going to be pretty tough for the English on this side. But their range is pretty good. The Highland for infantry. They're going to move them back. So, um, pretty interesting choices here. And uh, the artillery over here has a pretty nice position here to fire down at. Uh, from over on this hill, so they can, they're gonna get some nice hits. Um, they they're starting to die over there as well. Three line infantry and it looks like it's falling back now. This cav is uh, near the ba the battlefield, which is kind of risky. Let's see what's happening here. I'm moving up my infantry. Look at this. Now both of my units are firing down, and uh, they're starting to lose because they actually bumped up, they blobbed up their units like this. But more artillery fire coming in. But their morale, oh yeah, it's starting to drop pretty quickly. There they go. And the skirmishers over here are completely gone as well. See, we're all doing a pretty good job, except for the middle. They're pushing through pretty well. Um, maybe, maybe they need to, to team up a little bit more. And over here, I don't know what this unit was doing. <laughs> uh, that artillery is going to get so many kills. Let's see what kind of kills they get, because they're pretty close. Way too close to that artillery. They need to get rid of that. As soon as possible. Let's see if uh, it fires. Oh my goodness. I mean, it could have been worse. Oh yes, look at the morale drop. I think he tried to dodge that. And what's this? Looks like the uh, Prussians actually fell back. Or they all just routed. I don't know what happened. But the balance of power is moving in uh, their favor. What happened to the, over there? I think they're all routed. That's pretty insane. And uh, let's see over here. Where I'm just going to push through my men and my cav to charge in over here. And I'm going to take and try, try and take this house here, which I'm doing a pretty good job of. And here comes a cav charge into the British. 
pushing through two camp units, but we still have more over here. And I'm just rushing my men. I was pretty unorganized at this point. Um, oh yeah, I missed a calf charge that happened here. He tried to charge in his calf, but uh, unfortunately um, <laughs> I managed to kill him with my calf. Uh, I'm pushing through pretty well here. And I'm just positioning my men, uh, but it doesn't well look well. Let's see. On, let's look at the map. Yeah, looks like on the over here. There. I mean, we still have some units here, but they, they are starting to get out of flank. We have some units on this side and the units on the other side. The Prussians are surrounded right now from the English. Maybe and they are now starting to regret that they uh, declared war against the English. The two generals back here um, are, are at the very back, what, uh, having a nice view at the battle. Just thinking to themselves. Look at this nice view, though. Hold on, I'm trying to get a nicer uh, angle. Trying to get... Well, just forget about that, but... They just have a nicer uh, sight of the battlefield. Uh, regretting the decision they had about declaring war against the English, because... I mean, on my side, we are doing a pretty good job right now. But it's still hard. My, my infantry here firing down from the side. Well, it's, it's going to be hard and tough to fight through this because uh, they are they are still massively outnumbering us here. The English did us well, and the the all what's left of this uh, of this side of the, for the Prussians is these few units. And it looks like I captured the building, which is good, but uh, I can't really help my uh, men here. We still have an artillery unit back here. They can probably get some damage done. But uh, these skirmishers have a, are probably going to get some ridiculous amount of kills. I think they're starting to form a square right now. We have some Landwehr units. So, yeah, the English are starting to attack. And over here. Let's see. They, oh, they actually charged in the Englishmen, which uh, was a huge failure. And uh, my calf, I tried to actually go around here, go for the artillery, but uh, their morale just dropped re re really fast. And at this point, we just knew that we have lost the battle. The English were strong, stronger than the Prussians fought. And the uh, generals are still alive. And uh, to this day, the, the uh, history of this battle is written down in the books by these generals who have fought, who have witnessed this fight. Wait, my generals over here, I mean, I, I, or maybe will this general survive? I will just charge him in and try and go for his artillery, which is really risky. But here they go, man. Oh no, they're actually going to charge in over here. This general will not stop. Karl of Glusewitz will not stop. Look at this. They're gonna they're gonna go in square formation and at this point he knew he messed things up. Therefore I'm gonna go for the skirmishes on this side, then morale drops. But uh, there's just no way we are massively outnumbered. And uh, yeah I think that's it guys. I'm I'm gonna skip to the end. Um, or, or let's just see how, what this unit's uh, gonna do now. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go back in the house. Uh, nothing much is gonna happen anymore. Let's see over here, the last stand. They actually charge in their infantry. And uh, they're gonna get from the back. Look at that. And we have the artillery, of course, who moved up a little bit closer. And they're gonna get nice hits. And that's just basically it for everyone. So yeah guys, uh, I'll just, uh, that's about it, thanks for watching this battle. And there we have it guys, the Prussians were defeated, and uh, they re totally regret the decision of attacking them, and the English are proud, and won't stop sending in their spies 
in Prussia. So um, I got kind of a lot of kills here, um, but the most kills on my side was Potato Magic 662. Uh, but, the, but the player with the most kills was Dane Swede with 1,762. Ridiculous. But GG. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little theme. Um, I know I didn't really show you guys exactly what units. I just tried to mix it up a little, but I hope you guys enjoyed it like that. If you did, just make sure to leave a like or a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to not to not to miss any new battles like this. And uh, don't forget to join my Steam group. Um, and I'm going to try and send this battle replay to Apollo with the same information. Uh, and I want to... Yeah, if you want me to continue making the battle replays and like this, telling you guys a story, backstory to it, try and make it historical. Well, I, well, before I leave, I just wanted to say that I just made this up. The names are not made up. They're actually real, but the the times and so it's not actually real. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.